Hey guys, it's Trey from Polygon Motion and welcome to this short tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to achieve, how to create a very smooth animation in After Effects by using Graph Editor. So, if you're new to After Effects, if you're a beginner, and I've seen most of the intermediate uh, level people who are using After Effects for two or three years, they actually don't know uh, too much about Graph Editor. They, are, they, they know, they understand how to use that, but they are not familiar uh, with uh, each details and how to uh, modify that and how to use that. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about it shortly. Keep in mind, guys, that Graph Editor is not too easy to work with. So, so now I'm just going to talk about how to achieve a smooth animation, and I'm not going in depth of Graph Editor. So, here I have an example, and if I play this, you can actually see the uh, difference in animation of each uh, circle in here, and uh, and all of them has same uh, keyframes just the same keyframes and same d durations but the thing uh, uh, that makes them different uh, is the keyframe interpolation or using of graph editor and the type of your keyframes so the first one if i solo this one it is the normal keyframe mode the linear the default mode of keyframe the different uh, the the default type of keyframes is called linear. It doesn't have any keyframe on the interpolation, it doesn't have any smoothness, and the animation is look very crappy and very rough, very linear. If I play this, you see that it is not looking too good. And uh, you, can, you, you can't use that in a professional scenes, and you can find um, animations like that in professional motion graphic designs and the key thing and the trick for creating a smooth animation is to change type of it to uh, a smooth so for example if I solo another it is the uh, easy ease keyframes you see that the uh, icon for this keyframe is, is uh, different and it means that it is a smoothed out and it is the default type of easy ease so if I play this you see that it is a little bit smooth and the animation is a little bit attractive and the other one in here the last one is same with this one with the previous one but the key thing is that we we have used that I have used graph editor to tweak it a little bit to make it like this you see that at the first it is very very it is very slow and go very fast at the end and with this kind of tweak uh, tweaking you, you can create complex animation with tweaking graph editor so I'm just leading this one and I'm just starting with this one that we have in here and I just want to put this to the center very good and now it is our linear so what I'm going to do in here is just selecting them and right click keyframe assistance and easy ease you see that we have easy ease in and easy ease out the the first one is the simple one it means that it is start uh, it is start uh, slowly and end slowly and if you want to just start uh, that and if you just want to uh, smooth out the starting point you have to use easy uh, easy ease in and if you want to just uh, slow down and smooth down the out point you have to use easy ease out so the best option for the most of the time it works is easy ease and I'm using most of the time this option so for this just click on that and if I play this now you see that our animation is a little bit smoother and um, it's looking very nice and most of the time by using of this keyframe uh, easy ease uh, you will achieve a great result and you don't need to tweak it but if you want to tweak it, you have to select your keyframes and in here we have graph editor. And if I uh, click on graph editors, you see that we can see some, <laughs> some lines and some graphs uh, like mathematics and things like that. But you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to um, just, just uh, learn each details of this graph editors, but it's not too complex. If I right click in here, we have two options, edit value and edit speed. Now, we are in edit value graph. It means that when we adjust any, uh, when we change the shape of this uh, graph, 
we will change and it will uh, affect on the value of uh, this properties that's, uh, that in this case we have position and we will change the value and you see that now we have if you don't have any triggers it means that for the most for for the two type uh, parameters uh, that they are uh, locating in one array you see that we have position x and y in just one properties and for the most of the time uh, edit value graph are not working in this mode and what you have to do is you have to just right click on positions and separate dimensions once I separate dimension you see that x position is now in separate prop, uh, uh, property and y position is then separate so in this case we just need our x position because it has animation on x position and if I select this and go to graph editor now you see that our graphs and if I select, you see that we have our triggers that we can adjust it. You see that once I change the shape of it, the animation is changing alongside of it. And for this, I'm just clicking that and zoom it like this. So it means this one is the, the starting point. And it starts like this and changing the value. And this one is the your out point. It means that the changing, it it it. it uh, define the changing in value of your parameter. So for this, if I put this like that and make it like this, it's uh, it start very very slowly. You see that starting point and then ends slowly as well. And this area is a uh, middle of our animation. So if I play this, now you see that it just it starts very slowly and ends very fast like this and we can do opposite of that if I select this and go to graph editor and just start very fast and end slowly like this now if I play this you see that that's a little bit and you you have to keep in mind that you don't have to put just make it like this because it will change the value keep it in, in a straight line like this to preserve your actual value and you and you see that it's very nice now and it's the same keyframe like the before but the main thing here is that we change the graph editors and you see that it start very fast and if I put this like that you see that it start very very fast and ends slowly and you can do opposite of that and you can change some of the shapes in here shapes of your graph like this like this so that was from graph editor a short overview and uh, you don't need to just uh, put, put too much concentration of gra uh, on graph editor knowing these tips knowing these short tricks help you guys to create better animation better motion in your design project so that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed from this tutorial and don't forget to put your comments on the comment section and uh, subscribe to Polygon Motion channel if you didn't. And don't forget to check out other Polygon Motion tutorials. There is a lots of tutorials on motion design and UI and UX design. My name is Richie Shayer and see you guys next time.